excited to be filming today. This will be answering all your pregnancy questions. On my Instagram, I put up a poll on my story and I was like, okay, ask me any questions you guys want to know. I did the same thing on YouTube. And so I wrote down 13. Lucky, <laughs> fun fact, 13 is my lucky number. So I was like, okay, I'm going to write down 13. We'll keep it at 13. That's a good number. And so yeah, I have questions here that I wrote down. I want to answer them with you. If you are new here, my name is Nina. I am four months pregnant. Obviously, you could tell from the thumbnail, but this is my second pregnancy. This is my firstborn, Elise. Here. Here, let me see. Mm, what happened? Oh. She's playing on her tablet right now. Okay, there you go. But you don't want to do this one? I'm gonna jump in right into the questions. Okay, first question, would you ever try sneak peek to find out the gender of your baby? So I actually had to Google what sneak peek was. I'd never heard of it before. And so I guess it is an at-home test where you actually do blood work on yourself and I think you mail in the results. And that sounds so interesting. Like I said, I hadn't heard of it before, but unfortunately I won't be doing that this time around. I did do blood work with my normal doctor with my OBGYN and so we're gonna find out the gender of the baby that way and we're gonna um we're gonna find out very soon we're just waiting on the blood work results I didn't do that for Elise's pregnancy I actually found out like the old-fashioned way on an ultrasound and then looking at if it's a boy or girl and so now you guys all this new technology they have and they're able to find out through your blood work is so so interesting so we'll be doing it that way and you guys obviously will find out the gender with us very soon so stay tuned next question did you take anything to help with dilation or contractions teas miss you girly another fun fact Susie is someone that i used to work with she was always so kind and sweet to me so I miss you too, girl. So this question is geared towards my first pregnancy and I actually didn't take anything specific to help me with dilation or contractions. I was in labor for three days. So for two of those days, I kid you not, I walked. I um, We used to live on the third floor at our old apartment complex. And so I would walk up and down the stairs. I probably walked for a full night because I started my um, contractions. I think it was in the evening one day and then it, it lasted like I said throughout three days but I never took anything like any teas I never the only thing I ate I remember was pineapple I had heard that that does help with contractions and it helps speed up things so I did try pineapple um, but I didn't take anything yeah I think I think from what I remember I believe I was just having fruits I was having water, I wasn't eating anything heavy, I was just having like light foods because obviously like when you're in labor you don't want to have like crazy meals. But um, <laughs> mom are you going to lay down? At least getting comfortable. <laughs> you're going to take a nap? <laughs> Is it nap day? Yeah. Girly come on, come sit with me, answer some questions. <laughs> okay, Here, look. you want to do another game? You can do the puzzles. Ooh. Ooh. So question three, does Elise know you are pregnant? I think that's such a cute question because I feel like she does know. And I do talk to her all the time. We tell her like, there's a baby in my belly. Um, you're going to be a big sister. We do try to talk to her on the daily about it. So I think she does know. Another thing too that we've noticed is that her attitude, her moods, they have changed a little bit. I think she's right now a little bit more sensitive. And so I just feel that she probably feels my energy. She probably senses like there's something coming. There's something a little different. And so I just, I know she knows. Question four, will you get an epidural this time around? So I don't know if I will. I think right now I'm pretty open to getting one or not. I do know with my first pregnancy, going through labor, you guys, for three days, when I showed up to the hospital the final time, I showed up to the hospital three different times, but the final time I was nine centimeters, so I, I did that all on my own at home. I had shown up at the last minute nine centimeters. Thankfully, I didn't have the baby in the car, but I think going through that, I'm like, wow, I feel like I can probably do this naturally the next time around. 
I should probably try, see how it goes. And another thing too, when I was um, giving birth to Elise, I did ask for the epidural at nine centimeters and I did that because I think more so my fear took over. And I was like, I don't know if I can do this. I think I'm gonna ask for the epidural. And so I did that. But actually in the moment when giving birth, the epidural was wearing off. So a lot of like the, that whole part when you're like pushing her out, TMI, but when you're pushing her out, having her, I felt a lot of that, the epidural was wearing off. So I kind of have a feeling of like the feeling, you know? So I don't know if I, if I do decide not to get it this time, I think that I'm strong enough. I think I can handle it. But if for some reason I ask for it, then that's okay too. I think I'll really just know in the moment. We'll, we'll play it by ear. Okay, number five, will you be having more kids? So this is an interesting question. I honestly, we, we aren't sure. I think I'm personally okay with just two kids. I think if you would have asked me this years back when I was younger, I would always talk about having a big family. I wanted like three to four kids. That was like always my ideal thing, my dream. And now though, after having one kid and then a second on the way, I just truly think I'm okay with two and who knows I feel like that can change I just feel like whatever is meant to be will be if a third baby does come around I think that obviously you know that'll be what will be open to it but I think as of right now I'm okay with just two pregnancy is is so much physically mentally I know I keep talking about that and so I just don't know if I can do this a third time I just don't know if mentally I can handle it it is a lot on you um, day and night. It, it changes your life. It changes everything, body, your mentality. So I don't know. I don't know if I can do it a third time, but I guess we'll see. Okay, next question. Do you prefer a boy or a girl? We don't, we don't prefer any one over the other. I think that we'll be blessed um, with either one. I think we'll be so excited for either. Do you have any baby names yet? We don't have any specific names picked out yet. I know we're playing around with names, but we don't have any like set in stone. So I'm, I'm excited, I don't know. I think we'll see when the baby gets here. I do have a video on my channel where I did share a bunch of boy names, girl names that I really liked. And so I probably will film another one of those this time around and I will be sharing different names this time because we've thought of a lot more. I know Jose has thought of some that I, I was like, oh my gosh, that is such a nice Ew. name. Question nine, are you scared of labor and delivery? I think it's normal to be a little scared. Obviously, if this is your first time ever being pregnant, if you're expecting, um, it is normal. This is my second baby, so I wouldn't necessarily say I'm scared. I think I'm more so just hoping that there aren't any complications, that um, there aren't any surprises, or if, if I hadn't been through something already. And if you are a first time mom, if you're expecting for the first time, I know now after going through it once, there is nothing that God will give you that you can't handle. I was truly surprised with everything that I just went through, that I, I just handled it like nothing. Um, so it's, it's, it's a lot, but you're going to be okay and just trust in yourself, trust in your mind, body, it'll work out number 10 how do you sleep at night so at night i don't have a specific position that i'm more comfortable in i think i for sure cannot lay on my back i know that's more uncomfortable than anything now that i'm growing my belly is just like there <laughs> and so i normally just lay on my side i think that's like my go-to yay mama okay you want to hold this Okay, so question question 11, Elise is gonna hold my little paper. I think it was, um, what is your least favorite part about being pregnant? Mm, I'm trying to think, I don't know if I do have one. I feel like during pregnancy there are moments or pos possibly even your whole pregnancy where you're just uncomfortable. You're uncomfortable just like in your body, just with everything, you're, what you're feeling like throughout the nausea, sickness. And so sometimes I think I would just say like those moments that are rough, 
the moments that I'm not feeling good or that my thoughts are taking over. I mean, I've had a lot of those this pregnancy. From my experience, my first pregnancy was so different from this one. I think this one, it's been so much harder on me mentally. I feel like at moments my mind is just running free you guys and it happens so naturally I'm I'm naturally I feel like a very very strong person mentally I'm very good at positive self-talk and I just feel like this time around it's it's been like whoa like it's I don't know sometimes I'm like are we in retrograde how long is this how long is it gonna last but yeah, I, I would say that is like one of my least favorite parts are like those rough moments. Question 12. We have two more questions and this one is, what is your pregnancy diet? I don't necessarily have a specific diet. I kind of just eat whatever I'm feeling. I kind of eat everything. I more so gravitate towards fruits though. I love fruit. I'm always just eating that if I don't feel good. I normally have that water and I do I do receive wicks so whatever they give me tends to be just good I get yogurt fruits beans I mean those like healthier foods so I'm kind of like trying to stick to those oh my baby Ellie's gonna nap <laughs> she's like yeah right okay last question how do you feel about being a young mom this is an interesting question. I hadn't been asked this before and it's it's funny because I'm going to be 24 in a few weeks, you guys. I cannot believe it. We're getting close to Gemini season in two days and and I can say that I feel happy about... Oh, baby. You want to come sit right here? Sit with Mama? Okay. Okay, we got Ellie in the house. <laughs> She's having some milk. <laughs> we'll go have lunch right now. You're gonna have some lunch. Mama's gonna make chicken Okay, last question really quick before things get crazy. Um, how do I feel about being a young mom? I think that life happened the way it was supposed to I feel good about being a young mom I like I said, I'm gonna be 24 and I think I'd always wanted to have all my kids by the time I was 30 That was like my ideal situation and luckily it worked out that way. Um, and I just feel like I can still be young and up to a lot of things now that my kids are going to be, well, both of my kids will be here. Um, I just feel like I'll be up to more things. <laughs> and yeah, I feel like I feel good about it. I think, like I said, it worked out how it was supposed to. I'm blessed. And I wouldn't change it for anything. Um, but to each their own, I'm not against, like, if, if you want to have kids when you're older I had always want my kids like when I was younger and so it worked out that way luckily so that concludes today's video thank you guys so much for watching if you made it to this part I'm gonna head out because I have to make lunch we're gonna go have lunch okay but I do want to close out the video if you guys have any other questions that you want to know just ask me them down below in the comments I will probably try to do a part two to this video like towards the end maybe towards like my third trimester but yeah thank you guys so much for watching I hope I answered the juicy questions I will see you guys in my next video bye guys